I mean, I, he's been out of circuit. I saw him at the last track at Silverstone, but sort of lurking in the shadows behind. There he is in the back of the garage, not wanting to be on the pit wall or front and centre while he plans Audi's introduction into Formula One over the next few years. And he really is succeeding in taking a proper back seat, isn't he, Seibel? But I yeah. just wonder how much he is getting involved on the engineering side in the background. Oh, I'm sure he is, but his focus is very much on, you know, 2026 and beyond uh, with that. And he, he's got a good team of people to, uh, to manage the day-to-day, -day, but it is interesting to see him here this weekend. So he was at Silverstone, you're right. It's, it's a, I think that's about three races he's been to in a, in a row now, I think. Fernando Alonso, meanwhile. Ooh. Yeah, he's on a good lap here, Crofty. He only attempts down after the first sector and uh, hustling the car nicely through turn six and turn seven. What's the second sector going to be ease up? Look, to another personal best for Fernando before he gets into turn 12. It looks like the balance pretty good here. Quite a bit of understeer in the car. The rears are very, very nicely in touch. Continuing on his way then to the final corner. We've seen drivers come a cropper here in qualifying in the past. That looked really nice from Fernando. Decent exit off that final turn. And there he is, top of the charts. Uh, and ahead of Max Verstappen, although Verstappen yet to put on the soft compound tyres. Ted, back to you.